Okay, we're back for the guided bit of Thursday's lesson then to understand just more of fractions. Now, just a little warning here, you might be able to see down the bottom, we're on slide 2 of 21. There are actually quite a, quite a lot of slides on this guided bit. If we were in class, we'd be doing a lot of whiteboards, a lot of maths talk. You can see the maths talk icon is still there. Now, I know that you're at home. Um, if you can manage to talk to me, even though I can't hear you, talk out loud to yourself, uh, talk to the cat, talk to a little brother that probably doesn't understand a word that you're saying, whatever you can do uh, to try and not just be sat there listening to me, that would be lovely. So do try and join in as much as you can uh, from your house. So first bit, imagine the 100 square is one whole. What fraction is shaded? So we have got one part out of a 100. So try and jot down or say out loud what fraction you think is shaded. Then on the next slide, got a whole load of things to show you as to what is shaded. OK, so make sure you've come up with your own answer and I'm going to move on to the answer slide now. So what we've actually got here is one hundredth. So I've got one square out of a hundred, one blue square out of the whole, which was one hundred. Now, as a decimal, hopefully you've got used to this now, one hundredth is 0 0.01. This is our hundredths column and there's a one in it. OK, and just to show you here, we've got zero tenths, but we've got one hundredth. OK, right. That's it, really. So I'm going to go on to the next one. So same thing. Talk to your fish this time, maybe. Talk to a, a teddy bear, whoever you've got there that you can just say this fraction to. So imagine again, our 100 square is one whole. So what fraction of the square is shaded? So think about this being one part that's shaded in. Okay, so what fraction is shaded? Okay, I'll just show the answer slide now, so make sure you've had a little think to yourself. So we have got 10 out of 100. Or you might have actually written 1 tenth. OK, that is simplified. So you might have seen it as 1 tenth. You might have seen it as 10 hundred. 1 tenth then, we've got 0 0.1. We don't need the 10 here from there. We can simplify. So 0 0.1 is the same as a tenth. There's no hundredths, which means I don't need to write that zero there. So ten hundredths or one tenth is the same as 0 0.1. OK, next one. Should we get the idea now? So talk to somebody, say it out loud, jot it down. What fraction do you think is shaded now? So the hundred square is one whole. How many of the little squares? Do you think that we've shaded in this time? So how many out of 100 are shaded in? OK, I'm going to go to the answer slide, so make sure that you've had a little guess yourself. Sorry, I should not have said guess then. Not guess at all. You have worked it out carefully because you are clever year six children. OK, so we've got out of 100, 30 parts, 10, 10, and 10. So we've got a 30 out of 100. But again, we can simplify that. 30 hundred is the same as 3 tenths. If you imagine this whole line is 1 tenth, so we've got three complete lines shaded in. We divide the numerator by 10 to get 3. We divide the denominator by 10 to get 10. So we don't need to write 0 0.30. We can just write 0 0.3. So 3 tenths is 0 0.3. OK, next one. Imagine the 100 square is one whole. What fraction is shaded? So think about how many of the little squares we have got coloured in blue this time. Tell somebody. Talk to yourself. Jot down what you think. And I'm going to go to the answer slide now. So this time we have got four 
100. So that is 4 out of 100. So as a decimal, we can write that down as 0 0.04. So there's no tenths. You can see, hopefully, I've got nowhere where there's a full line coloured in blue. So I've got no tenths and four hundredths. So four hundredths is our fraction. As a decimal, it's just 0 0.04, four in the hundredths column there. All right, moving on. So the hundred square is a whole again. What fraction is shaded? So think about how many little squares there are there and how many extra we've got here. So try and write it as a fraction out of 100. Have a think about the decimal as well, but I will go through that bit with you. So make sure you've had a little go at, at least saying or jotting down what you think the fraction is. Okay, that should have been enough thinking time. So we've got this time 14 hundredths. There's 10 here and there's four there. So we've got 14 hundredths. So 14 hundredths looks like this, 0 0.14. We've got one tenth in there and four hundredths. And again, hopefully visually you can see that this whole line here is one tenth. So we've got one tenth and then four of our little squares. So four hundredths. All right, next one. Imagine the 100 square is one whole again. What fraction is shaded? So again, hopefully you don't need to count all of these because you should know by now how many squares there are there. So think about here and what we've got here. So what fraction of the whole is shaded? Think about doing it out of 100. Okay, hopefully you've had some thinking time. Pause the video if not and just have a few moments. So this time we've got 25 out of 100. Now this is what Ms Evans calls a famous fraction. This is one that we need to know, we need to remember, it's got to be embedded in your brains. So 25 hundredths is the same as a quarter. Okay, you need to remember that. 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. 25 hundredths is the same as a quarter. So 0 0.25 is the same as 25 hundredths, but it's also the same as a quarter. This is what we need you to recall, really. One quarter is the same as 0 0.25. That is its equivalent decimal. Two tenths, again, you can see them on the square. Two tenths and five hundredths. Five hundredths, five hundredths. Embed this in your brain, people. One quarter equals 0 0.25. Okay, onwards. So this is another famous fraction. So think about what fraction of the square is shaded. See if you can find an equivalent fraction. So think about what we've got out of a hundred and then an equivalent fraction. Which will give you a moment. Obviously you can pause the video if you need to. Make sure you've jotted something or spoken to, or let's imagine you've got a dog this time. Tell your pet dog. Okay. Oh, wrong one. Um, so 50 hundredths is what we've got shaded in. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 going across. Now, 50 hundredths is the same as a half. 50 divided by 50 is 1, 100 divided by 50 is 2. Equally, you should hopefully know by now that any fraction where the numerator is half of the denominator is equivalent to a half. So 50 is half of 100. So 50 hundredths is the same as a half. And here's the important famous fraction that we need to know. 0 0.5 is equivalent to one half. So 0 0.5, its, de its fraction, sorry, is one half. 5 tenths, 0 0.5 is the same as a half. Get that stuck in your brain. Right, still guided. But there's a little task for you to do on these famous 
fractions. So what I would like you to do, please, is have a go if you can on your own. You can always play back that bit of the video that we've just done. So can you think about what each of these decimals is as a fraction, okay? So start with 0 0.5, think of it as a fraction. 0 0.1, think about what face value column you're in. 0 0.2, and then this one's going the other way. The equal sign means I'd like you to simplify it. 0 0.75 as a fraction. Now this little dot here means reoccurring. It means really, this is actually 0 0.33333333. Two thirds as a decimal. 0 0.4. Eight tenths, I'd like an equivalent fraction. Now this, this is your challenge down here. I will go through that one. Well, to be fair, I'm going to go through them all. So what I'd like you to do really is pause the video, jot down the answers that you think you can work out. I'll go through then on the next slide the answers and explain how I've got to them. Okay, so do pause the video, do have a go, but I will go through how I've got to each of the answers on the next slide. Okay, so I'm moving on to the answer slide now. Pause this if you haven't yet had a go. Okay, so. These are the answers. Let me just grab a pen. Uh, ready. So 0 0.5 is the same as a half. How do I know that? Because I've embedded it in my brain, people. 0 0.5 is the same as a half. It's something we need to remember. 0 0.5 is the same as 5 tenths. Hopefully you can see there 5 tenths is the same as a half. Five divided by five is one, 10 divided by five is two. So this says five tenths is the same as a half. 0 0.1, we know this is the tenths column, so it's got to be just one tenth, okay? One tenth. 0 0.2 is two tenths. Two in the tenths column, so it's two tenths. Now, I did say I wanted that one simplifying, so hopefully you spotted. You can divide both of these numbers by two. They're both even numbers. So two divided by two is one, and 10 divided by two is five. So 0 0.2 is the same as one fifth. Make sure you've jotted that down if you made a mistake there. That's a famous fraction. You need to be remembering that one. So then we had... I think it was, let me just check which way around it was. I think we had 25 hundredths, we did. So we had 25 hundredths here. So 25 hundredths is the same as one quarter. 25 divided by 25 is one. 100 divided by 25 is four. Now 25 hundredths, even if I can't simplify that, 25 hundredths, well, it has to be 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is 25 hundredths. That, will, that is what it will look like as a decimal, okay? 25 hundredths. Okay, then we had, again, let me just check which way around we had. We had 0 0.75. So 0 0.75 we can write out as a decimal as 75 hundredths. So 0 0.75 is 75 hundredths, which is the same as three quarters, okay? Same as three quarters. Have a look at your connection here and here. 25 times by three is 75. One quarter times by three, sorry, one quarter times three is three quarters. Okay? There's always these connections to look out for. Okay. Oh, my little dot's just moved. I'll just pop a new one in. So 0 0.3, reoccurring forever and ever and ever. You might not have got this one. 0 0.3 is the same as one third, okay? That is a famous fraction. It's just something you need to remember, if I'm honest, Year 6. So 0 0.3 is the same as one third, okay? 
Now, the next one was linked. So again, it might depend if you worked out the 0 0.3 one uh, as if you got this one. So from here to here, hopefully you can see that that's doubled. 0 0.3 times 2 is 0 0.6. It is 0 0.6 reoccurring. So really it means 0 0.6, 6, 6, 6, onwards and onwards and onwards. This was doubled. So we actually just double the numerator here. So one third times by two is two thirds. OK. So I'm just going to double check which way around this one was on your question. We had the 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 is four tenths. That's a four in the tenth column. So 0 0.4 is four tenths. And on this one, you can actually simplify that fraction. So well done if you did spot that. So we can divide by two and we can divide by two to give us two fifths. So 0 0.4 is the same as two fifths. Now, if you look here, 0 0.2 is one fifth. 0 0.4 is two fifths. 0 0.6, just 0 0.6, not 0 0.6666666. 0 0.6 is three fifths. So you might be able to see a connection here. 0 0.2, 1 fifth. 0 0.4, 2 fifths. 0 0.6, 3 fifths. Not this. Not this. 0 0.8 then, and I believe it was 0 0.8. Oh no, sorry, you didn't. You had it the other way around. So you had 8 tenths. So 8 tenths, 8 in the tenths column, is 0 0.8. So 0 0.8, 8 tenths, but we can simplify 8 tenths. Divide by 2 again. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So now we've got 4 fifths. So again, I'll just grab back. 0 0.2 is 1 fifth. 0 0.4, 2 fifths. 0 0.6, 3 fifths. 0 0.8, 4 fifths. And then one whole is 5 fifths. Okay, so we're going up in 0 0.2s each time. Now this one is a sneaky one okay 0 0.125 is 1 8 now that really is one that you just have to remember it is quite hard to work that out i will show you how you can do it but it is just one that you need to be trying to put in your brain and saving for secondary school so 0 0.125 is the same as 1 8 so i'm just going to take you back to a quarter over here so 0 0.25 is one quarter. Now one eighth is half of a quarter. So what you actually have to do to get one eighth is divide 0 0.25 by two. I'm just going to show you it using a little um, short division method. Ooh. Very wobbly. So we're dividing 0 0.25 by 2 because an eighth is half of a quarter. So 2 into 0 goes 0. I can't really carry 0. 2 into 2 goes 1. 2 into the 5 goes 2. Now go back to yesterday's lesson. 0 in your thousandths column and your remainder carries over it exchanges sorry into here so two times two was four we had five so we've got one left over two into ten goes five so that was really tricky to actually work out uh, don't don't worry if that has blown your mind 0 0.125 is the same as one eight 0 0.25 is the same as a quarter okay famous fractions you need to try and remember them. Try and get that jotted down somewhere. Take a picture of the screen. Whatever you need to do, try and remember those ones. Okay. All right. Intelligent practice is up next. So I shall pause this one and start you the next video. See you in a moment.